what what it, what I'd like to debate. What has climate change got to do with the city of Melbourne? Tons. You've passed this long long motion on climate change, which is part of a national campaign, an mm. international, international campaign. Yeah. International campaign. Yeah, more than eight hundred cities Mass now. Mass species have... extinction. You're talking about what species is going to be extinct? Mm, well, there are a lot of uh, quolls. Plants and and what, uh, all extinct? sorts of things uh, that are actually at risk. And what? look, we've had. I love this debate, Neil. I'm well, glad what's, we're what's having this debate. What, what's about Tell to me, die? What, what what role do you think local government has no, in, in environment you, and climate change? The, the motion says mass species extinction poses a serious risk to the people of Melbourne, Australia. What? Mm. Well, look, the motion has a number of things in it, Neil, and I think uh, what it's really saying is that for decades now, uh, the City of Melbourne and people of Melbourne have been concerned about our environment. I remember my year eight uh, project was about pollution and how we need to do things to reduce, reuse and recycle. And we're still talking about these things. But from a local government perspective, let's bring it back to rates, roads and rubbish. In terms of uh, roads, we want to make sure that they don't flood when we have uh, storms. And so that's about doing as many things as we can for green roofs, having green walls, being able to better manage that storm water because our drainage system has been in place for more than a century, as you know. So there's a lot of pressure on that. Also about our roads uh, in the summer, all of that concrete very much adds to the heat in the city. So if we can uh, have more uh, green canopy uh, then it brings down the temperatures. So that's a big part of what we're doing uh, in terms of rubbish. There's a huge amount going on around waste at the moment as you know and the City Council has a leading role to play with our residents and our businesses on how we can reduce waste Mm. and how we can uh, recycle it and deal with it more effectively. That's so all, they're just some examples. That's all terrific, but the motion declares that climate change and mass species extinction pose serious risks to the people of Melbourne and Australia and should be treated as an emergency. What mass species extinction is threatening the people of Melbourne? Well, again, um, I think, Neil, if we launch into these uh, discussions on uh, sure, great, let's do Greater Melbourne. Sure motion. Uh, it oh. is, and uh, and it's led by people that have uh, you know, lots of expertise in uh, these areas of mass extinction, and I must say I've, I'm going to um, get some more detail on exactly what those species are and come back to you. But from a practical perspective at the City of Melbourne, we are absolutely committed to doing better for our environment because we think it has positive impacts for people today and positive impacts for people tomorrow. Well, of course you're committed to the environment, but yeah. you passed a motion here about mass species extinction affecting Melbourne, mm. and you don't know what it is. Does anybody on council know what it is? Well, they do, and I'll have to get one of those people to come on, and they can actually talk to you about the particular species, and I'm sorry I've come without the names of those species for you today.